Hi guys, welcome to this quick review about the P Cloud. Uh, it's a cloud yeah, storage network and I've been uh, using it a little bit and the last couple of weeks I haven't been aware of that and yeah you know uh, I mean most people know Dropbox, Google, Microsoft uh, and so on maybe something like Apple or Amazon but uh, I haven't been aware of the P Cloud. I just found it by chance and I have doing a little bit of research uh, here you can find the description it looks like you can store up to 10 gigabytes uh, offer lifetime plans for up to two I, I mean up to 10 gigabytes uh, is free or yeah I think it looks like 10 gig gigabytes are free and they offer up to two terabyte uh, lifetime plans so when you look at the reviews you see that most of them or all of them are from 2018-2019 I haven't found older ones and they, they look mostly quite good so um, it looks like they are pretty new to the space and yeah like uh, it is for every company in this um, area it will be qu uh, quite uh, difficult it won't be easy for them and uh, I think yeah they, they start with some nice free space and low prices and after that they will probably have to go up in price or limit free space like always but as long as it's here I try to I'm using it and try to find out how it works how stable it is how reliable I'm not going to store my most sensitive data on this platform of course because it's new and i have to get used to that and uh, but it really looks good i mean i have done a couple of tests and here's the page uh, you can set it up and then you can download um there are some softwares i mean there's a an, something here uh, like uh, verify your email then you get an extra gigabyte then you can upload a file another gigabyte and then you can download a uh, p cloud drive i've been doing that but um yeah it was heavily integrated into my system um yeah i didn't really like it they just grabbed uh like a letter and integrated it in my system without asking what kind of letter i want to use and how i wanted to integrate they just did it um, i mean it worked it didn't cause any problems so far and because i didn't like it i removed it i just went to normal software uh, like the apps and rem removed it like any other software and the drive letter went away so and I got all my storage back so I think they did a really good job on installing and on uninstalling and uh, yeah the thing is just is, is still checked but uh, yeah I hope it will, will stay there other things where you can get additional space is download the P cloud app and there's even more turn on automatic upload of course they want you to they want to push you into automatic upload that everything is uploaded and then after a short time uh, you will have to buy extra space so of course they give you some incentive to do that which mm, yeah I, I didn't do that so but um, yeah it looks actually quite good and there is not much about settings when you click on this icon here it gives you some options about your account and it will show how much space of the 10 gigabytes you have already used for some reason i'm still on 10 gigabytes even when i have completed these three steps this is a little bit 
strange maybe it needs some time or I don't know why maybe I'll ask but I don't need so much space at the moment anyway so I'm happy with that so here we have the uh, some kind of structure I mean we ha have the files here you have um, possibilities for backup trash rewind public uh, things which you have encrypted folders I haven't tested everything I've been just using normal files and the good thing is it go it, it, it works really super fast super easy super convenient so I put that a little bit to the side and I have prepared here a few files I'll mark them and I'll just drag them to the right side and you will see it opened a new window and you see the progress and it works really fast usually up upload has been quite fast I don't know why it's not so fast at the moment files are not so big but uh, it has still a decent uh, speed I have been uploading up to a couple of hundred files and that worked really quite fast reliable everything so that's good so far it could be a little bit easier to watch or something like that to monitor but it's it's okay I, uh, I really can't complain I mean when we make this thing a little bit larger we can easily see that whoops that was the upload manager I don't know what I did yeah here you can take it always back and minimize that's the good thing and so we have all files here the really good thing the really big advantage which I think is with that platform that for audio files I mean really virtually any kind of audio files like wave mp3 AAC uh, in um, OGG or, or whatever that is there are so many files around and I've been dragging a lot of them here and the really nice thing is I was just able to click on that and it was playing like here you open that and it will then open some kind of player and you can just press escape and it will go away so here it looks like there's even some yeah progress bar i mean you can probably go back and yeah scan through the whole thing uh, with the audio files it just played somewhere in here so i've uh, added two audio files for a uh, testing purpose and as you can see you can directly click on that and they are playing of course i have uh, turned the sound volume down but you can uh, increase or decrease the sound volume here you can switch between all the audio files which are within this folder uh, not with everything but just with the, the ones which are in this folder uh, that makes uh, really sense the only thing which I don't see is what I was a little bit missing there is no progress bar I mean no nothing where you can go forward I mean when you click on this it will just switch the track but you cannot go uh, back and forth within one track that's a little bit the bad thing but I cannot complain I mean it's at least it has an integrated player for videos and audios which is actually awesome and also for pictures takes a little bit too long I would like to have it a little bit faster I mean it's just a picture and but at least you can when it has started up you can easily go back and forth that's the good thing so I really cannot complain also when you want to move or copy you just click on an uh, 
on a on a file and then you click on move and it will show you the whole structure and you can just click on that let's say you, i want to move or copy it here and then press move and it will work really fast so that's absolutely awesome you can also do rename and you have some other options to make a archive or delete or you can also uh, share it you click on here you can um, produce a shareable link here you can cl just click on that and it will copy to the clipboard and you can give it to other people uh, where you don't want to give access to your whole account let's say just to one image to one video file to one installer file or whatever you have to share that's super easy super fast i mean yeah so far i've been super pleased with that i haven't seen much similar like that i mean yeah i, I think it's the most advanced uh free cloud storage which is around i mean except from google but it's totally different thing this is more like just uh dropping files a little bit organizing and 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 so google is of course much more with their whole office uh office thing uh but this is this is really really good uh, it has also this search thing you can search for everything you can search for images uh this is also really really awesome the only thing is which is a little bit a problem you cannot just click on something and drag it to uh, a file i mean i'm talking about the uh, local file so you cannot just uh, click and hold and pull it over i don't know maybe this is something which is browser limited i have never seen that uh, maybe it does not work at all within the Chrome browser or within Windows. I don't know. I can't remember that I have ever seen uh, this working. So maybe it's not just a limitation of pCloud. Maybe it's something which has to do with Windows and the Chrome browser at all. So. I mean I have my 10 gigs and I'm working with them and I'm super super happy with them and I I, I will definitely keep um, using it as long as it's free I hope it will stay like this uh, I've been uh, I've been seeing so many cloud services coming up uh, with a lot of nice free features and after some time they had to cut down the free part and yeah let's see how it develops but at the moment uh i can give i think full recommendation uh for that i'm not affiliated i don't uh, with them i don't get any money uh for that video I, I i was not paid for that it's just my honest opinion and um, yeah it would be interesting to learn from you what your experience is if you had same experience or if you had any problems so far so if you have anything just write to the comment section and i'm uh, happy to talk about this like always and if you have um yeah if you have any questions or comments or whatever so if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time